In this video, we're going to take a look at EcoFlow's brand new Delta Pro Ultra X, also called the DPU-X, and their Smart Home Panel 3. Together, this is EcoFlow's next generation whole home backup system, a setup designed not only for powering your home during short blackouts, but also for extended outages and even long-term grid down scenarios. Now, let me be upfront right from the start. This system, it's expensive, and I know many of my viewers are struggling financially right now, and I always want to respect that reality. For many, a system like this may feel extreme or simply out of touch. However, I also know that some of you are actively seeking whole home backup solutions, especially those in storm-prone regions or those preparing for long-term resilience. So this video isn't about pushing a product. My goal is to inform you about what this system is, how it works, and who it's designed for so you can make the best decision for your situation. I'll also show how it stacks up against Tesla and Generac and why this type of system can actually save you money over time especially if you live in areas with time of use pricing. If at any point you want to check out what I'm covering in this video, I'm going to put links to everything in the description and comment section below. Here's what we'll cover in the video. A quick overview of the Delta Pro Ultra X, specs and features of the Delta Pro Ultra X, overview of the Smart Home Panel 3, grid versus self-consumption, use cases plus calculator, cost savings plus ROI, comparisons, safety and reliability, answer the question, who is this for? And I'll end with giving my final thoughts. All right, there's a lot to cover, so let's jump in. Quick overview of the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X. In a nutshell, the EcoFlow's DPUX is their newest addition to whole home backup power. It combines an upgraded inverter head unit compared to the previous Ultra model, and it is still built on the same concept of easily being able to add batteries as your needs grow, creating a modular system that is very DIY friendly. Where most solar generators are portable boxes meant for camping or light emergency use, this is in a completely different league. The DPUX is designed to run everything in your house, from the fridge and lights to heavy appliances like central air conditioners, well pumps, or even an EV charger. It's modular, which means you can start small and expand over time. One system starts at 12 kilowatt hours of output and 12 kilowatt hours of storage with two batteries. However, it can be expanded up to 36 kilowatts of power output and 180 kilowatt hours of battery capacity with three head units and the maximum number of batteries all tied together into their new Smart Home Panel 3, which we'll cover in a moment. Now, to put that in perspective, that's enough energy storage to run the average American household for weeks during an extended outage. And because this is not simply about storage, the solar input is equally impressive. Each inverter supports up to 10 kilowatt of solar input, which means the system can recharge extremely quickly during daylight hours. In fact, with two batteries connected for a combined 12 kilowatt hours, you can go from zero to 80% in just over an hour, provided the conditions are right with 10 kilowatts of solar panels. For preppers, this means you can realistically keep the system topped up every single day with solar energy alone without requiring any fuel. And as mentioned earlier, you can tie three of these together with a smart panel inlet box and then accept 30 kilowatts of solar, which is impressive. For the solar input, they have two PV connection ports accepting up to 5,000 watts each. And as you can see, they made it easier to access the MC4 connectors for disconnecting them. For AC output, you have three options, 20 amps at 120 volt, 30 amps at 120 or 240 volts, or 50 amps at 120 volts or 240 volts. Now, while discussing AC output, it is essential to point out that you don't necessarily have to connect this system to their smart home panel, but instead can have an electrician install a manual transfer switch as shown here and connect to the DPUX to power standard panel. Obviously in this scenario, you don't have all the other intelligence features that come with the smart home panel, but it's still an option. And unlike traditional fixed systems such as a Tesla Powerwall or Generac standby generators, the DPUX is also relocatable. If you move homes in a few years, you can actually take this with you. Now, obviously, you'd want an electrician to reinstall the smart home panel, but the rest of the system is easy to move and set up again without an electrician. Specs and features. Let's dig into what makes the DPUX system. The heart of it is the inverter head unit. This is where all the AC input, solar input, and power output are managed. Think of it as the brain of the system. The batteries have a capacity of six kilowatt hours each utilizing long life lithium iron phosphate chemistry. You can stack these vertically under the inverter and each stack can be expanded up to 60 kilowatt hours per inverter. 
With three DPUX inverters, you can push the system all the way up to that 180 kilowatt hour mark. The batteries are connected on the side using the cables that ship with the setup. One of the standout features here is how it handles high demand appliances. Normally running things like a central AC or a heat pump requires what's called a soft starter to handle a large surge when starting. The DPUX doesn't necessarily need that. It can handle the inrush current smoothly, which not only makes it easier to power heavy loads, but also extends the life of those appliances. And if you don't have enough sun during an emergency, you can connect third-party generators through EcoFlow's Flowmaster Rectifier. That makes it incredibly versatile for both grid-connected and off-grid setups, giving you options so you're not tied to a generator specifically from the manufacturer. EcoFlow Smart Home Panel 3, SHP3. All right, so now let's talk about the Smart Home Panel 3, and this is where things get really interesting. The Smart Home Panel 3 is a central command center of this system. It's a 200 amp smart electric panel with 32 independently controlled circuits. That means you can monitor, schedule, and prioritize every major line in your house through the EcoFlow app. During an outage, the SHP3, when connected to the DPUX, switches over in about 20 milliseconds, fast enough that your electronics won't even notice, which is important for those with sensitive equipment. The panel is also intelligent. It uses AI to forecast weather, pre-charge batteries ahead of storms, and extends your backup runtime by up to 42%. For emergency backup purposes, this means squeezing more usable hours or days out of stored energy by automatically cutting power to non-essential loads. Compared to the older Smart Home Panel 2, which I covered on the channel at the beginning of last year, the SHP3 represents a significant leap forward. It's not just about switching circuits, it's about optimizing your entire household's energy use, whether that's during an outage or just managing your daily consumption. Now, one other notable feature is that the SHP3 allows you to use standard circuit breakers, not proprietary ones. Insulation is straightforward for its intended purpose. EcoFlow claims that professional electricians can typically complete the insulation in about 10 hours, which is a fraction of the time required for systems like Tesla or a Generac. Now, my electrician took a little more than a day to install this entire setup, so that estimate is correct. Grid versus self-consumption. Here's a key point I need to make clear, as I know it's gonna come up. The DPUX is not a grid export system. You cannot push excess solar power back into the utility grid for credit. This isn't designed for traditional net metering. Instead, it's designed for self-consumption and backup. You store the solar energy you generate and then use it later, especially during expensive peak hours under time of use plans. And this is especially important for those of us like myself who live in California. Under the new Enium 3.0 rules, the credit you get for pushing solar back to the grid is only about one third of what you pay to pull that same energy back. In other words, sending power to the grid doesn't pay anymore. We recently installed an entire solar and battery system on the other house on this property, and I don't even connect it to push power to the grid for this very reason. With the DPUX, you don't sell your power, you keep it. You use your own solar energy to run your house, and during peak hours when rates are high, you power your home with the DPUX's batteries, and SHP3 stops pulling power from the grid. That's how you maximize savings and maintain independence from the grid. And as you see, it's an intelligent system that can both provide backup power in emergencies and save you money in real time. We'll discuss ROI later in this video. Use cases plus calculator. Let's put this into real world scenarios. A prepper scenario, imagine a long-term grid down event. Your house still has power, lights, refrigeration, communications, and even well water all running off your stored energy and solar. The system is not about convenience, it's about resilience and survival. Maybe a storm prep scenario where the SHP3 uses AI to monitor the weather and automatically pre-charge your batteries before a storm hits. That's peace of mind that you don't have to think about and ensure your home is always ready. Blackouts. If the grid fails, you don't lose a beat. The switch is instant and your house continues to run. Everyday use. On a time of use plan, you can program the system to charge batteries when rates are low and power your house when rates are high. That's called arbitrage and it saves real money. Solar self-consumption. Instead of wasting excess daytime solar or selling it back for pennies, you store it and use it at night. Now for my community, the value is obvious. Resilience. For everyday homeowners, it's about saving money and reducing dependence on the grid. And when I consider buying a product for emergency purposes, if it can serve a practical purpose and save me money at the same time, it's a bonus for me. Speaking of which, let's cover ROI in the next point. Now, before I end this section, I have included a free downloadable calculator in the description section below, along with a video that details how to use a calculator. It's gonna help you to determine what this setup can power and for how long. Again, that link will be below. 
cost savings and ROI. All right, so let's talk numbers. EcoFlow's data shows that in a state like California with about 48 kilowatt hours a day of solar generation and 12 kilowatt hours a day of battery usage for TOU optimization, the annual savings can reach around $6,500 a year. That means the system can potentially pay for itself in about three years. Now compare that to the Tesla Powerwall where payback is closer to five years or Generac, which may never truly fully pay back due to ongoing fuel and maintenance costs. So yes, the upfront cost is high, but when you factor in savings and resilience, it's an investment that not only protects your family, but also pays dividends over time. Okay, so here's something I haven't done in any of my videos before. In this video, we discuss how the SHP3 features AI intelligence to help you maximize your savings on your electricity bill. In the description and comments section of this video, I've compiled a ChatGPT prompt that you can download fill it out, create a free ChatGPT account if you don't already have one, and upload the prompt with your information. This is gonna help you to determine your ROI and payoff period. I'm also gonna include a link below to a video explaining how to use the ChatGPT prompt. In that video, we'll go through it together and see what my results were. Comparisons. Okay, so let's see how this compares to the competition. We'll start with the Tesla Powerwall, around $31,500 installed. Deployment typically takes two to three months due to permitting and the contractor's schedules. Has a maximum capacity of approximately 54 kilowatt hours unless additional units are added. And it's not relocatable and cannot be easily expanded without a contractor. The DPUX, on the other hand, with three hedge units, can reach up to 180 kilowatt hours and can be moved with you if you change homes. You can easily add batteries to expand the capacity yourself. Let's look at a Generac standby generator, about $25,000 installed. Deployment typically takes at least a month or two, and during disasters, it can take up to eight months when demand is high. It requires ongoing fuel and maintenance, and it doesn't offer smart load control or detailed monitoring. The DPUX, it is silent, maintenance-free, and smarter. Now, the previous EcoFlow Ultra plus SHP2, which was a solid setup, but it was limited in circuits and intelligence. The SHP3 supports more circuits, has AI optimization, and integrates seamlessly with the new inverter. It's simply more powerful and more refined. Safety and reliability. All right, so let's touch on reliability and safety, as these are crucial for long-term resilience. The DPUX utilizes EV-grade lithium iron phosphate cells, which are among the safest and longest-lasting battery chemistries at the time of recording this video. They're certified to UL9540 and UL9540B, which are the top safety standards for stationary energy storage systems. Essentially, they meet very stringent standards for battery safety. It has a dual BMS with 24-7 monitoring and remote alerts. It also is built for extreme weather with automatic heating in cold conditions and heat protection up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And from an emergency backup standpoint, you've got triple assurance, battery power, generator input capability, and even EV integration if you have an electric car. That means you're pretty much covering all the bases. Who is this for? So who's the ideal customer for this type of system? We'll start with preppers, off-grid and self-sufficiency individuals who need long-term whole home backup, who can operate without input fuel sources like gas, propane, or diesel, which gives you true independence. Families in storm-prone areas who want peace of mind during outages. Homeowners on time-of-use plans who want to save significant money by controlling when they buy electricity from the grid and powering their home during off-peak hours when rates can be as much as double or nearly triple. People comparing Tesla or Generac, but want something more modular, faster to install, and with better ROI. Anyone who wants plug-and-play reliability without having to design and build a DIY solar system from scratch. Again, as I pointed out in an earlier point, this is not a system that allows you to push power to the grid, so it doesn't technically require permitting to install and set up in your home to power your house. Therefore, you must definitely factor this in if you're concerned about complying with your local municipality. I've had several neighbors that have set up the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra and Smart Home Panel 2 after I spoke to them. And these are the previous generation of this units that we covered in that video. Now, after I spoke with them, they used independent contractors and bypassed the permitting process. Final thoughts. So here's my take. Yes, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X and Smart Home Panel 3 are expensive. However, for those who require reliable whole home power, whether for prepping and self-sufficiency, storm protection, or long-term grid cost savings, this is one of the most versatile and forward-thinking systems that I've seen. This is where EcoFlow truly stands out in this market. It's intelligence. As long as you understand that you're not generating power for net metering, and you want a setup that you can take with you if you decide to move to another location, 
for whole home backup, this is a great option. EcoFlow continues to innovate. Now, I've tested their gear for years, and they've consistently proven to be reliable and forward-thinking. The system builds on what worked in the past, and it takes it to a whole new level. At the end of the day, this is not about selling power back to the grid. It's about keeping your power, using when it benefits you the most, and then knowing your home is ready for whatever may come. If you're in the market for a whole home backup system, this is one that's worth considering. Again, I'm going to post links to everything that we covered in this video along with the chat GPT prompt to help you determine ROI and the spreadsheet which covers what this unit can power in your home. If you have any thoughts or feedback, feel free to post that below. And as always, stay safe out there.